It's, uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning here. Just starting to get ready for my game. So I'm just, uh, I'm a cereal man in the morning. So just getting a bit of cereal ready. Uh, and also a Gatorade to start my hydration. So I don't like to eat too much before a game as I, uh, I like to feel light going into a game. But um, yeah, so not, nice light meal to get me started. I like to get up early in the morning and, and have my cereal. And uh, it's good during the early part of the season because the basketball's on. So I always get up here, get the basketball going nice and early and, and, uh, and settle in and watch, watch some basketball. In the morning of the games, uh, I like to just go over what we spoke about during the week just to make sure I'm, I'm uh, refreshed with, with all the knowledge for the game. So um, we're able to get it all on the iPad um, now so we can take it home and go over everything we need to. So there's a lot of good information on here and um, you know you should it's pretty much no excuse nowadays to not know what the opposition are doing. And I'm in every stoppage pretty much so especially the centre bounce it's so important so I like to make sure that I'm um, you know across, across what we're trying to do in there and, and also to get all the boys organised. It's about 11 o'clock and we're getting uh, got to get ready for the game. So I'm one that likes to be really organised and make sure that I've got everything um, ready to go. Socks, I always take two pairs of socks just in case, um, you know, being a ruckman, I get a lot of sprigs and all that sort of stuff. So I'll take two pairs just in case one gets ripped. Um, and, then, uh, and then I got my boots. So also take um, two pairs of boots. I wear ASICs this year, um, uh, purely for the reason that, um, you know, there's not too many size 15s around. Um, I've got my diary. So once again, this is um, my game knowledge stuff. So um, pretty much this is all the stuff I've learned over the year. Um, about what we need to do to get ready. Good boy. Hey. No, we try and take him for a walk three, three or four times a week. So he obviously loves it, as you can see, and it's not it's handy having this park nice and close to take him over to. Yeah, we like to come over here and have a kick with Izzy. She, she's got her netball back in Ardrossan today as well, so it's good for her to go over here and get ready to play. So I um, always bring the footy out and I like to have a little bit of kick to kick. So she's on the improve, but uh, it's something that helps me. So um, it's good to have a nice little warm up. Two hours, 20 minutes for the game, and we're heading into Adelaide Oval now. But now I guess I'm starting to think about uh, my preparation when I get to the ground and, and what I need to do and things like that. So um, you start to get a bit excited as, as the game, you're starting to get a bit closer. So it's a perfect day for footy and a good day for big fellas, let's hope so anyway. I like to get to the game um, pretty early. I, I'm one that doesn't like to be rushed or anything like that, and I like to get there plenty of time just to to get there and just have a chat with the boys, I guess, and, and relax with them. So I'm, I'm big on getting out and, and grabbing a footy and, and going out into the middle. And um, even though it's Adelaide Oval, and I've done it plenty of times, I'd just like to go out there and get a feel for the condition. So now we're in, uh, in undercover. Um, as you can probably see in the background, all the boys are starting to arrive now. And, uh, now we're about to do the stroll to the change room, so the excitement starts to build a bit now. And perfect day for it. I know. Oh, okay. Does he? Loves to be part of it still. I guess the good thing is it's not too often that I don't have someone at the game, which is which is really nice. So it's great that people can sort of share the experience with me. Um, you know, obviously they've been a big part of of helping me to get where I am. So it's, it's great to actually you know give them something back to come along and, and watch us play. Chaco's not near, so we'll just grab our guns in that anyway. We don't like to, to feel heavy going into a game, so I'll just have a light, light bit of fruit, and um, that pretty much ties me over. And then through the game, at half time, I'll probably have another banana and a few gels and things like that, and um, it's probably enough to tie you over. So, and then, uh, and then once the game finishes, you're, um, you obviously lose your appetite, and then about an hour after a game, you're hungry as. Uh, obviously, it was a great result today. We were able to get the win, and um, you know, it was really great to especially in uh, Brent Riley's games. First of all, we come in, we sang the song, which is great. It's one of the best feelings in footy, and it's, you know, these days it's probably what you play footy for. Um, straight away when you come in, it's probably the best time <clears throat> as a footballer to enjoy your wins. 
Um, but also in saying that, you get straight on the bike and, and straight into recovery. So um, nothing lasts long. It comes around quick, and, uh, and now we're about to get into the ice bars. So you see a lot of boys walk around pretty sore with ice packs on, but um, it's all in, all in um, preparation to get ready for next week. Now recovery is all finished. Um, Walsh will have a chat to us just about the game and, and just a few key points. Um, you know, after the game, blokes deal differently with. Um, you know, after the game, some listen, some take more in. Um, you know, everyone's different. But Walsh likes to just leave us with a few pointers to, to move on to next week. It's a good feeling driving home um, after a win, but um, we didn't probably play the way we wanted to, but um, we got the result in the end, which was, which was good. So um, it was nice to, nice to play all right today, but um, a, bit sore and, a bit sore and sorry, but looking forward to relaxing tonight. And might go out for tea or something like that. It'd be a pretty, uh, pretty quiet night, though. Have the Crows in your pocket with the official club app. Get the latest news and read player profiles. Watch videos straight to your smartphone. Eddie Bates. Oh my goodness. Don't try that at home. And it's all free. Download it today from iTunes and the Google Play Store.